Hello again. Hello once again, Algebra 1 top students. This may be the first example that you felt like you needed to watch the help video for, and I understand your pain. It's got a fraction in it, and so many of you are afraid of fractions. I want to get you over that fear. Well, we're going to approach this problem exactly the same as the previous problems. Um, we're looking at two-thirds times what number is six? Two-thirds times what number is six? Now, we start with the what number, the unknown number. And this equation tells us that if we take that number and we multiply it by two-thirds, that the result is six. Now, we follow the pattern that we've been doing before. This, is, this operation of multiplication is going to be undone with the operation of division. So we need to divide that 6 by 2 thirds. 6 divided by 2 thirds will get us back to whatever the unknown variable is. The question is, uh, x equals 6 divided by 2 thirds. Now, I think about division the way uh, that I've, I've hopefully trained you to think about it. How many 2 thirds does it take to add it to 6? Hopefully you realize that it takes 6 ones to add it to 6, so it's going to take more than 6 of these to add it to 6. Now, the way we divide by two-thirds is uh, the same as multiplying six by the reciprocal of two-thirds. In other words, down here, I could have said, okay, well, I can, to get back to x, instead of dividing by two-thirds, I can multiply by three halves times two thirds and then times three halves think about it times two thirds and then times three halves was two thirds times three halves if we multiply by two thirds and then multiply by three halves two thirds times three halves is one those are reciprocals remember in uh, multiplicative inverses. Their product is the multiplicative identity, 1. So, um, x times 2 thirds times 3 halves gets you back to x. So, 6 times 3 halves, well, I can do this two ways. I can think of this as 6 times 3 divided by 2, or I can play this game and think of 6 as 6 ones, six ones, if you know well. Six times three is 18, one times two is two, so we've got 18 halves, and 18 halves is nine. So the solution is x equals, oh, wait, wait. again. X equals 9. Now I'm going to move this down so I'll have more room for my check. Okay, so we're taking two-thirds and we're multiplying it by our solution and we're supposed to get 6. Our solution was 9. Two-thirds times 9 should equal 6. Well, Think of that as 9 over 1. 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3. That's how we multiply fractions. 18 thirds. Well, yep, that's 6, all right. So we found the correct solution.